Fortnite has had a lot of mythic bosses, mythic items, medallions, and vaults throughout the history. And today, we're going down the memory lane and having a look at the entire evolution of mythic bosses and their mythic items. So drop a like and subscribe when you see your favorite mythic item and bosses. Well, the first mythic item we got was the Infinity Gauntlet, where we could actually become Thanos himself and take down everyone. We would also have three different powers where we had lasers, super jump, and also we could smash our opponents to get the victory royale. And the best thing is with this, you also had 1000 HP to win the game. Well, soon enough, after this mythic item, we had the infinity blade. And this mythic item was overpowered because with this, we got 200 HP and 200 shields. And every time we eliminated someone, we had Siphon. Right after this mythic, Fortnite added the new Chitauri Blasters and the Chitauri Jetpack into the game. And these mythics were pretty overpowered. But on the other side, if we had the Power Stone, and if you collected all of these stones, you would become Thanos. And this time to defeat Thanos, we also had the powers of the Avengers. But if you collected all the Infinity Stones, you would win the game. And to stop Thanos, we would get ourselves this Hawkeye's bow which would explode and give over 400 damage. And on top of this, we also had the other mythic items which included the Captain America shield which would come back once it's thrown. The Thor's hammer, which would eliminate everyone in the whole place. And on top of that, the first ever Iron Man's repulsors in Fortnite Chapter 1, which would actually shoot lasers and would make you fly. And since this was an LKM, this only lasted for some time and later this would return. After that, we also had the Batman's Batarang. So once you actually threw it, it would lock on to the opponent. But additionally, we also had the Batman's Grapnel Mythic item, which would make you glide and this would make traveling super, super easy. Well, right after that, we also had the first ever mythic item of Chapter 2, which was the Mythic Goldfish. And if you actually hit someone with it, it was a one-hit shot. After that, we actually had these Psalm Troopers. And if you defeated them, you would get yourselves these new mythic items. And well, even though the aim on these first auto blaster rifle weren't that good, these were a pretty awesome mythic item because the damage was pretty decent. Well, right after that, we also got four different lightsabers and you could easily fight with your opponents and have a really epic lightsaber battle. Well, after that, we got the most iconic season of all time, Chapter 2 Season 2, where we got the addition of the boss Deadpool. And defeating this boss was a real challenge. Kind of getting out of ammos. I kind of saw this one coming, but okay. We got Deadpool. Let's go ahead and clap him. And let's get his dual pistols. There we go. We got ourselves the first mythic weapon. Let's get back into the chopper right now. Whoa, I see a lot of loot over here. Hopefully, Myosils is over here. Please be here. Oh, oh my god, he's here. Let's go ahead and clap him. We got three bosses. Let's go. Come on Reload. There we go. Let's take his rifle. Oh, I want this. Thank you very much. Let's go back to our chopper again. Oh There she is. Come on. Let's get clapped already. Come on. Oh My god, come on. There we go. Please give me all your stuff. Thank you very much I'll be taking this yo. I need the grappler so I can exit this place. Yo, come on, bro. Oh my god, we got so many items right now. Now we gotta go all the way to the agency. In the agency, on the other hand, we had the Boss Midas. And as you can see, Boss Midas was one of the most iconic bosses of all time. And once you defeated him, you got his iconic Midas drum gun and his key card. But on the other side of the map, we had the Grodo. And over here, we could find the Boss Brutus, who had his mythic minigun. So if you actually played with some IQ, then you wouldn't take any damage just like me. And once you defeated this boss, you would get the boss Brutus's minigun and his awesome keycard that you could open. And as you can see, this mythic minigun was overpowered. On the other side, we had the rig and over here, we had the iconic boss TNTina. And this boss right over here came with a lot of henchmen. So you could also disguise as a henchman and take out the boss yourself. And this boss actually used to have a Boombo. So once you defeated her, you would get the Boombo and her key card, which was the red key card. So if you opened it, over here, you would find so much loot. And this was the first ever season when Fortnite added vaults into the game. And inside these vaults, you would also find the XP tokens. 
on the next season we had midas's daughter in the game which was named jules and once you defeated her just like midas she would give you the mythic jump gun and also a really awesome grappling gun and also the key card this is what the glider would be like and it would give you free gliding chance and if you have a look at this awesome jump gun once you use it well this was pretty overpowered and on the other side we used to have caddy's corner and over here the boss kid used to live who was well boss Miasel's son after all and once you defeated the boss you would get this awesome kid shotgun and the awesome impulse nade well once you actually use it you would see that this was actually quite powerful and the shock waves well it would help you travel super fast because as you can see you could travel through anywhere super quickly next up so this is the ocean boss right over here and look at that we just got ourselves all the mythic items right now and plus i also got myself the key card so this is the new chug jug item so as you guys can see below you guys can see my chug jug is not being replenished so i can use this chug jug infinite amount of times in a single game which is pretty amazing so let's go ahead and use the burst which is pretty cool 55 headshots and also let's go ahead and open up the vault because the location for that is going to be right over here so you guys can go ahead and loot up everything these are going to be all the stats for the mythic weapon by the way which is pretty cool in my opinion and then on season four we used to have the dr doom boss and it seems like dr doom is going to come back but right now we are going to go ahead and defeat this boss and as you can see well dr victor von doom was the name and he would give us two different mythic items and this was the first one and this was the second mythic item which was one of the most overpowered items because this would annihilate everyone next up we used to have the boss wolverine and as you can see well the boss wolverine was pretty overpowered and if you didn't eliminate him completely he would revive himself and this was the first ever boss which did that and this boss gave us one mythic item which would help us dash but also it will help you run faster and regenerate your health next up we had the boss iron man and this boss iron man used his unibeam on every single opponent and his iron man repulsors so once you actually eliminated him you would get these two mythic items and his key card and as you can see these repulsors are way more better then we used to have another mythic item which was this unibeam and this was iron man's mythic fall which was pretty awesome then finally after that we used to have the return of the boss midas and the name of this boss was the shadow boss midas because he came as the four nightmares update and once you actually defeated him he would give you another mythic item which was an upgraded shadow midas's drum gun this season we also had the thor's mythic item and the other mythic items on this season this mythic item would crush everything you would call a mjolnir from the top and it would destroy everything then we also used to have the boss silver surfers mythic item on these drones and if you actually picked it up you could literally pull out your glider and glide everywhere on silver surfers board then next up we also used to have this awesome mythic item that you would get and this was the hulk's smash if you actually use this well she holds fists were pretty hard so you could literally destroy every single object anywhere anytime then you also used to have the boss groot's mythic item and this would not only heal you but also crush every single object right in front of you and also give you free shields then we used to have another mythic item and this was the boss storm's mythic item and once you actually use it this would actually push everyone away from you that was the best part then we used to have the boss venom's mythic item and this was the first ever time venom made an entrance so you could grab your opponents give them damage and eliminate them then we used to have the black panther's mythic item and this mythic item would absorb all the incoming damage coming at you and send it back to the opponents and as you can see this was quite awesome and on this season we also had the first ever witch broom in the game which would make you fly in the four nightmares update with this mythic room you could literally travel anywhere and finally once this season ended we could also get ourselves the amban sniper rifle and jetpack by defeating the mandalorian boss this boss was quite overpowered because this boss could snipe you across the map but regardless if you actually defeated this boss he would reward you with two mythic items well the jetpack would make you fly and on the other hand the amban sniper rifle well 
Yes, you can see you can do melee damage with it, but also if you actually scope with it, you would get thermal scope, which was quite overpowered. Then on the same season, we got the boss predator as a secret skin and the boss was added to the game and he would be invisible and he will be trying to hunt you down but well if you actually defeated the boss he would actually give you a pretty awesome mythic item and once you got this mythic item it would turn you invisible then on the next season we used to have the spire guards and this was one of the most toughest mythic items to get because not only once you defeat the boss, you actually had to carry this across the map and put it on this portal. And this would reward you with the Spire Jump Boots, which could actually make you jump super high and also help you glide. Then, in the main place, we used to have the Spire Assassin who would give you the shotgun, which was the primal shotgun, which was quite overpowered. But with the future updates, once you defeated the boss, the boss would actually give you the Mythic Recycler, which was a really unique Mythic item that we have never seen before. And this used to have unlimited ammo because you could use it and then use the restoring ability of this Mythic item to restore the ammo and use it once again on anyone. Now, after that, we got one of the toughest bosses in the history of Fortnite, which was the boss Raz. Because if you were close to him, he would actually deal a lot of damage to you with his mystical powers, but also use his bows to eliminate you. But once defeated, you would get his explosive bow. And this is what it would do. But after that, we actually got ourselves Dr. Sloan on the next season. And this boss actually had the unique ability to multiply. But once you defeated the boss, the boss would give her Pulse Rifle, which was quite overpowered. And it could also be used as SMG because of its fire raid. Then we also had Zig and Choppy. And once you defeated this boss, you would get his ray gun, which was quite awesome in the season where there were a lot of UFOs. Then finally, once again, Dr. Sloan came back and she would teleport to a new destination. And if you actually defeated him this time, she would give you another mythic item, which was quite overpowered. And then you also had the Carnage's mythic item that you could extract. And just like that, you could have his mythic powers where you could literally grab things and you could also glide, which was quite awesome. And then this was the Venom's mythic symbiote, which would deal damage. And just like the Carnage's mythic item, this would make you fly as well. Then we used to have these mythic monsters and they would use their mythic powers to eliminate you. But these caretaker bosses could be eliminated. And once you defeated them, they would give you all of these mythic items, which would include the sideways minigun, the sideways sight, and also the sideways rifle, which were all quite overpowered and one better than the other one. Then we used to have the boss Naruto's mythics that you could get from the boss Kakashi and from the floor loot. And this is what the mythic would actually do. And then on the next season, we got the boss foundation. But this boss foundation's mythic item was the first time ever we could actually have aim down side. And then finally, we got the Spider-Man's mythic as well. And this mythic item needs no introduction because you could have the best mobility in the game. Then after that, we had the addition of the boss gunner. And on this season, well, the boss gunner had... A really unique thing because he gave us a mythic stinger smg and if you try to eliminate him he would actually fist you and throw grenades at you and once you defeated him this was the mythic item that you would get along with the key card then on that season dr sloan came back again and she would offer another mythic item but then she would have her reinforcements and if you actually took out the hunt master saber boss he would give you another mythic item which was the thermal ar and he could also teleport behind you and do special abilities so you had to be a bit careful then on the next season you had these e11 blast rifle that you could find in the floor loot and this is how overpowered it was and the fire rate was definitely increased then fortnite added the lightsaber as well which was the kylo ren's lightsaber on the next season we used to have these reality fruits and depending where you would actually plant the seed you would get mythic items based on that so if it was desert biome it would be different for winter it would be different and for the rainforest it would be different 
Then finally, on the next update, we had the introduction of the boss Darth Vader who would enter the map on a space shuttle. And once you actually defeated him, he would give you a lot of special items. But this was for the first time ever where the boss could actually have a really tough battle with you. And he could also pull you closer and throw lightsabers at you. Then once he actually got eliminated, he also had a special animation where he would kneel down. But he would also offer his mythic lightsaber. And this is what the lightsaber would do. So you could throw it and also block bullets with it and also eliminate everyone with it. Then on the next update, we got the Kamehameha update where we could have the Goku's Kamehameha and his flying Nimbus. So you could literally fly away just like Goku and Fortnite also added the Kame House, which was pretty awesome. But apart from that, this was the first ever anime mythic that was added to the game. And soon enough, we're going to see more mythic items added to the game. Because after this, we got the boss herald on the new season. And by the way, this boss would actually shield herself quite often and would send wolves to you. But once her guard was down, you could have taken her out and she would give you the herald's burst rifle. On this season, we got new mythic vaults and you actually had to use keys to open these mythic vaults. And you could also find the keys, which looked like this, to open the mythic vaults. Then you would also have these mythic shotguns that you could get for yourself if you upgraded them. As you can see, I upgraded the shotgun from legendary to the mythic one just by dealing damage to them. And you could do the same with the evil chrome ARs as well. And this is how much damage it did with these shotguns. Soon enough after that, we got the four nightmares update. And over here, we actually saw a boss that a lot of people didn't know about because she didn't drop any mythics. But despite of that, she was a boss who would actually hunt you down with her pickaxe. But apart from that, you could defeat her. And on this season, we also used to have a special type of a mythic item. And for this, all you had to do was perform this ritual. And for this, you would actually get this free emote that you could do right over here. And once you actually performed it, you would get this really awesome mythic item that we're going to use right now. And as you can see, this was quite similar than the previous mythic item of the Wolverine where you could use your claws. But apart from that, we also used to have the Inquisitor boss. So if you actually stepped on this place right over here, the boss would be summoned with a custom animation. As you can see, once this whole animation was played off, the boss would summon after a really loud scream and he would actually use pumpkin launchers, fireflies and his mythic SMG to eliminate you. But once you actually took down the boss, you were rewarded with everything that he possessed but well the only thing mythic that he had was his mythic smg and this is what his mythic smg actually looked like which was quite awesome but he also gave you some chuck slashes to go along with it and if you're wondering how much damage this smg did this is how much it did well after that we got chapter four and over here we got the ageless champion as the mythic boss who would actually give us two mythic items but when he was first added to the game he actually only gave one mythic item this was the mythic item that he gave and which would actually explode once you actually shot the opponents with it then after that we also had his mythic hammer once we eliminated him later on a later update then we also had deku being added to the game and he would have his deku smash and even mr beast also had his custom game where he was a boss but apart from that you could get the Deku Smash Mythic ability from these supply drops. And if you didn't get these supply drops, you could also get the Mythic items from these vending machines, which was quite awesome for only 250 gold. And well, if you're wondering, this Mythic item was quite overpowered because it would destroy everything and all the bosses which came on its way. And well, on the same season, we also used to have these heist bosses which would drop the key cards. And well, even though they didn't drop any mythic items, they would actually drop exotic items. But these were the bosses that were added on this season. Well, on this new season, we used to have the high card boss and he used to have two different guards protecting him. And once you actually defeated him, we used to get the high cards havoc suppressed AR. And he also used to have a mythic vault. And inside his mythic vault, we would also get this havoc pump shotgun. And later on, on different vaults, we would also get different mythic items. But well, this is what the boss would look like. Then on this season, for the very first time, Fortnite added the Loot Island. And if you actually went ahead and got on top of this place, 
you actually had the chance to claim this and in return you would get the overclocked pulse mythic item and this is what the mythic item actually did which was quite similar to the old sloan striver well after that on the next update we used to have the aot mythics and through these special chests you would get the thunder spear and the odm gear well these mythic items were quite overpowered because with these you could easily travel but also deal damage to opponents quite a lot as you can see traveling was super quick and if you actually saw any opponents close to you you could charge up towards them and use the odium gear to eliminate them and once you could eliminated them you could actually use the thunder spears to explore your opponents as well which was also quite overpowered after that jumping on to the next mythic item we used to have these special places and through these special chests we used to have these brand new dc 15 blaster rifle which is a bit similar to the older star wars mythic items that we got and then on this season we also got three different star wars lightsabers and if you actually interacted with darth maul he would actually give you a special lightsaber that we never saw before with these new custom animations would also get custom powers and as you can see we actually had these force abilities well as you can see right now these lightsabers were specially equipped because with these you could actually throw objects at the opponents then if you actually talk with anakin skywalker he would actually give you the force pull ability and after this custom animation where you would enter inside a new dimension and get the lightsaber this ability just like the name suggests it gave you the force ability where you could literally pull opponents closer to you and eliminate them with your lightsabers well after that we used to have another lightsaber and for this you have to talk with obi-wan and he would give you his green lightsaber and after this awesome custom animation well with this mythic ability you could literally push someone away from you as you can see right over here we could push someone and then we could literally rush them with our lightsaber and eliminate them super quickly just like this then after that on the next update we used to have the spider-verse web shooters these were a bit different than the previous spider-man's mythics that we had received and the animations were a bit different but apart from that the mobility on these items were pretty pretty awesome well soon enough after this update we got ourselves the optimus prime update and over here we actually got the cybertron cannon and some other really cool mythics well to get these mythic items you actually had to do a bit of work because to get the cybertron cannon you actually had to look on the floor loot and just like that you would get these awesome mythic items of optimus prime himself and if you're wondering what it actually did well it was quite explosive like literally you could eliminate anyone with it and it would charge and it would just go kaboom and this is uh, what it would do to bosses and these bosses were actually relocated and actually gave some other items as well and over here we could also find mythic vaults which were placed and inside these we could find the next mythic item which was the enhanced flapjack rifle on the same season if you looted the loot island you would also get the mythic drum gun and as you can see, this Mythic AR is quite overpowered. And if you switch to the Mythic Drum Gun, the fire rate was awesome on this. On the same season later on, Fortnite added the Boss Relic and he would give us two different Mythic items. And well, this boss actually had different items and abilities. So he would actually turn invisible and would also throw fireflies at you. But if you actually went ahead and eliminated the boss, he would give you two different Mythic items that we have never seen before well first one was the boss relics ar and the other one were his gauntlets which would make you turn invisible just like the boss perkers but these ones would work really well as the opponents would never find out unless you actually ran out of time and this is what the ar did which was quite similar to the boss foundations ar then we had the bender shiny metal ray gun on the same season and well the boss npc used to sell it and this is what the reagan actually did which was quite similar to the zig and choppy's reagan that we had had before then on the same season fortnite did another anime collaboration and we got some more anime mythics added to the game and this time we got two of them well we had the hollow purple and the straw doll and for this you could actually find these mythic items on the floor loot pretty easily and the straw doll technique was pretty overpowered but on top of this Fortnite also added these mythic special anime llamas 
And if you actually went ahead and eliminated them, it would actually give you some mythic items. As you can see, we got two mythic items out of this. First one being the straw pall technique. And the other one was the hollow purple, which would demolish everything on its way. And we used it on the boss relic as well, but it used the special powers. But as you can see, this was pretty overpowered. And this is what the straw doll technique did which was also pretty okay then finally on the next season we got the boss catered thorn and the boss actually evolved twice and then through his mythic vaults we could actually get some old mythic items but as you can see the boss looks completely different at the beginning of the season later on we'll have a look at the boss again but as you can see the boss gave two items the mythic item and his key card and as you can see we got had a lot of old mythic items coming back again inside his vault since he was a collector so we could only choose one out of three of these mythic items and on different vaults we're gonna visit them right now and show you guys what these different mythic vaults said but as you can see you could only pick one of these mythic items and well this boss on the other hand actually was the first boss which offered us the mythic dmr because as you can see once we defeated the diamond boss it would give us his key card and the diamond's thermal dmr and once you actually went inside his mythic vault, he would give us some old mythics once again. So he went ahead with the TNT as mythic. And as you can see, this is what the thermal DMR would do of the boss diamond. And this was not the only boss in the season. But as you can see, this boss kind of looks similar. But it isn't the same boss. Because as you can see, this was the hearts boss. And he actually gave us the Havoc's ar and also gave us the option to choose different mythics and well from the loot island we also used to have the mythic pump but also on the four nightmares update k the thorn got a, a change and we could also get his drum gun and his vampiric blade and as you can see we also got the return of the witch room and the kato thorns blade it was quite overpowered and you could use it just like this and eliminate everyone well after that we got another anime collaboration the todoroki's ice wall and as you can see you could literally make an ice wall with it well soon enough after that ashoka tano made an appearance and she actually gave us a new type of a lightsaber this was light in color and even though it kind of had a new animation as you can see the lightsaber looked quite different and you can push things and use it as a regular lightsaber after that we got the introduction of chapter 5 and over here we got the boss montegu and new mythic bosses and medallions over here once you drop the hp of the bosses they will do an emote and restore their hp once again especially their shields and once you actually defeated the boss montegu he would actually give you a special special item which was called a medallion and as you can see we actually defeated the boss and we got the montegu's ar and his medallion keeping the medallion would restore the shields and in this season we also had the emp stealth grenade which would literally turn you invisible and if the opponents were not noticing you you could literally roam around them but on the same season we also used to have the boss valeria who would literally throw fireflies at you and burn the whole place down but also the fun fact about this season is when this season was first added if you collected all of these medallions well they would restore your hp and shields completely and then on the same location just 300 meters away we would find the boss anisha and once you defeated her she would give you her ar which was quite overpowered and also the awesome medallion then finally we had the boss oscar and obviously we're saving the next boss which is the best boss out of them all but if you actually defeated the boss oscar he would give you two items one of them being the medallion and then the oscar frenzy's mythic shogun then you could also open his mythic vault but the main boss was the boss Peter Griffin who would do an emote if his HP went down. But also he would throw boogie bombs at you and sometimes even fireflies jar. And well, if you actually eliminated this boss, this boss actually had a really awesome secret just like the boss Darth Vader. And once you defeated this boss, you would notice that he would have a custom animation which is this one. And he would also give you 
two items, one of them being the medallion and the shotgun. And the shotgun was the first time ever where you could literally aim down sight and eliminate your opponents with them. But after that, we got the TMNT update. And through these vending machines and the supply drops, you could get the Michelangelo's nunchucks. And these nunchucks were pretty special because we're going to use them right now. And as you can see, well, these nunchucks dealt a lot of damage with high mobility. On the other vending machine, you would get the Dawn and Halo stuff. And just like the other TMNT mythic items, this mythic item was also pretty awesome. And as you can see right now, we're going to use it. And it would actually deal a lot of damage and would also have this special ability where you could also kick your opponents. Then on the other side, we used to have other vending machines, which would give you the Leonardo's Katanas. And while these katanas were pretty awesome, you could give a dash attack and also slice your opponents with these special, special items. Well, this was not the only mythic item because we also used to have these supply drops. And through these supply drops, you could get the Raphael Psy Blades. And as you can see, the Psy Blades had these dash attacks and you could also slice your opponents with these Psy Blades which was even better then on the next season we had the gods and through these mythic chests you could get the zeus's thunderbolt but also you could challenge the boss zeus himself and this is what the mythic item did which was the thunderbolt the boss also used it that we're gonna check in just a bit but as you can see right now this boss was one of the toughest bosses of the season because not only he would use his thunder abilities but once he actually went ahead and defeated this boss completely he would literally restore all of his HP and shields and throw minions at you to fight. And then once you actually defeat him and evade all of his punches and defeat him for the very last time, he would actually give you a lot of different mythic items, two in total. But on top of that, it would also give you his medallion, which would help you travel really fast. And well, this was his mythic item, which was pretty awesome. Then on this season, we could challenge the boss Cerberus. And as you can see, the boss Cerberus was quite special because instead of sending his minions, he would send you wolves. And once you defeated this wolves, that's when you could challenge the boss Cerberus. And this boss Cerberus had a lot of unique abilities. He could dash, but also come close to you and attack you just like the boss Wolverine. As you can see, he uses his claws. But apart from that, once you actually fought the boss, he would actually reward you with something really, really awesome. And this was his medallion. As you can see, this medallion actually gave you a special ability from where you could dash, but also you could get the Cerberus Gatekeeper Shotgun. And if you're wondering how the shotgun works, this is how the shotgun works, which is quite awesome. Then we could also challenge the boss Ares, and this boss had a custom medallion and a custom mythic AR. And his medallion would actually increase the damage of all the items that you possess so even if you held the mythic item of Ares, it would actually give you bonus damage every time you hit an opponent then finally on this season we used to have another boss on the other side on the underworld which was the boss hades and he used to live on his throne so once you went ahead and challenged the boss hades well he would throw some minions at you but also he would actually use his chains to also try to eliminate you and use a special ability where he would channel all his energy and steal your HP, which was quite, quite overpowered. As you could see, challenging this boss was quite easy, but taking him out was even tougher. But once you actually eliminated him, he would give you his awesome SMG and his medallion. Now, this medallion was one of the best medallions in the game because this would give you siphon. And on this season, we also had the addition of the boss Midas on the yard. And well, if you actually talk with the boss, he would actually offer you his mythic drum gun, but you actually had to buy it. And this is an improved mythic drum gun that we have never seen before. After that, we got the boss avatar update and we got four new mythics. And one of them was the airbending mythic, which would help you travel super, super quickly. And on the very center of the island, you would also find the earthbending mythic. Over here, you would see inside these special places, if you actually interacted with these scrolls, you would learn the mythic ability and you could actually make walls just like the ice wall mythic, but also you could throw stones at your opponents. Apart from this, on the other side, you could also find the cores water bending mythic throughout these islands. And these items were not anything less than an SMG. 
But after that, we also used to have the fire bending mythic, which would allow you to throw fire at your opponents and even kick them, which was quite awesome. And well, on the next update, we could easily get the Somme Troopers mythic AR. But on top of that, if you assisted the boss Shabaka, he would give you his mythic item as well, which was quite awesome. But also, we saw the return of the boss Darth Vader, and he gave us the same mythics as before. Then came Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 3, where we saw the boss Megalodon. And well, if you actually uh, took down the shields of this boss, he would actually charge up with Nitro, and then start using his fist, and be more aggressive towards you. But apart from that, it was super easy to take down the boss, and once you took down this boss, he would actually give you a medallion and two mythic items. One of them being the uh, mythic combat shotgun and the other one being the fist. And well, if you're wondering if the fists were overpowered, well, they are. You could literally uppercut with them and annihilate everyone over here. But apart from that, defeating this boss also gave you the chance to go ahead and open the mythic vault. And this mythic vault possessed a new car which was a mythic car of the boss megalodon then on the very center of the map you could challenge the ringmaster's car boss and once you actually defeated her she would give a similar mythic item that the boss shibaka possessed but on top of this this boss also could throw dynamites at you so you had to be a bit careful but apart from that you could get her medallion which was pretty awesome but also carry her mythic item and through the medallion you could also get her really awesome mythic car which used to have super awesome turrets but fortnite later nerfed them and by the way if you possess the medallion of this mythic boss you would have infinite ammo which is quite awesome then you would also find these bosses on this season just like the boss machinist and well she would travel all across the map in her boss car and her army but well if you could actually go ahead and defeat the boss pretty easily because uh, these henchmen who actually protect her they're not that overpowered and eventually the boss comes out of her vehicle so you could easily get back inside her car once again and then eliminate her through her own turret which is a pretty simple thing to do but once you actually go ahead and defeat this boss this boss actually offers a medallion and a mythic item and as you can see well all of these medallions are quite different for the boss machinist you would get her ar and if you actually picked up her medallion it would actually replenish your shields over time which was quite awesome well on this season we also got the metallica update and over here you could actually search these guitar places and you could ride the lightning and this is what the mythic item actually used to look like and it actually works like well, Fortnite is going to add more mythic items and bosses into the game. So subscribe to the channel if you want to have a look at that. And if you enjoyed this video, then please use code GARU in the item shop. And if you enjoyed this video already, then I'm pretty sure you're going to enjoy watching this video which is showing up. So what are you waiting for? Click on it right now and check it out.